Hi, I'm Duncan, I'm passionate about fish and in this video we're going to show you how to produce some simple single fillets from red gurnards. We've got two different coloured gurnards here just to show you examples of how their habitat can affect the colour of the skin. I'm actually going to work on the bright red one first. I'm going to lie it on the table with its head to my left and its back towards me. I'm then going to take a cloth and just place it over the top of its head just to make sure I can grip it safely and not catch my fingers on all the spikes on the head. I'm then going to take my filleting knife and lift the pectoral fin with my left hand, insert the knife just behind the head, cut forward at an angle ensuring you get a good yield down onto the spine and then slowly rotate the knife onto the spine, tease it in short movements all the way down to the tip of the tail and release the first fillet. We very, very carefully need to just remove the gut away from the rib cage, and then we'll produce the second fillet. Turn the gurnard over, again placing a cloth on top of its head for safety. Lift the pectoral fin, take your knife, cut down behind the head at an angle, rotate the blade so that you cut in towards the tail, and those short, smooth, jerky movements all the way to release the first fillet. We're now going to trim the rib cage just to make the fillets free from bones. Take the tip of your blade, guide it underneath the rib cage, tease the rib cage away in one movement, hold the fillet open and guide the knife down underneath the line of bones and then trim the edge of the fillet to refresh its presentation. And there's the first fillet skin on. I'll show you that operation again. You take the tip of the blade, you hold the fillet by the tail, you run it underneath the rib cage, take your knife, guide it down underneath the rib cage and trim away the fresh surface. And there's two fillets, skin on. We're now going to show you how to repeat the exercise, but this time remove the skin from the fillets as we do the work. We repeat exactly the same operation, the gurnard is on its side with its back towards me and its head to the left. I'm going to take the cloth, put it on its head for safety, lift the pectoral fin, insert the knife at an angle behind the head. Once you feel the spine, rotate the blade slightly, do some very short movements with the blade backwards and forwards and then do those slow jerking cut movements, run your knife down the spine until you get to the end of the tail. This time we're not going to release the tail from the fillet. Then we're going to take the knife, go underneath the flesh on top of the skin and just run the knife down the top of the skin and release the fillet from the skin in one movement. Take the tip of the blade again, run it underneath the rib cage, just lifting the rib cage away from the fillet. We're then going to hold the rib cage and guide the knife down and trim the fillet in one movement. Just tidy the fillet with a cloth just to remove any stains and there we've got a beautiful single fillet. We're now going to turn the gurnard over and repeat the exercise on the second side. Remembering that you've got the skin still attached to the fish from your first fillet. Lift the pectoral fin, take your knife, cut again behind the back of the head at an angle, then take the knife clockwise do those gentle tugging movements down towards the tip of the tail, stop short, roll the fillet over, take the knife, guide it down into the flesh on top of the skin, and then with your left hand pull the fish and with your right hand skin the fillet away. We now need to remove the rib cage off the last fillet, tip of the knife, guide it underneath the rib cage, edge of the blade, scoop the rib cage off. Trim the fillet, and there's two skinless fillets and two single fillets skin on. Simple single filleted gurnard. You will find there are a few bones left down the head end of the fillet, and these are called pin bones. The easiest way to remove those is to turn the fillet over so the skin side is up. You'll then be able to feel the line of bones running down the lateral line with the tip of your finger along here. Take your filleting knife, insert it in the loin side of the fillet first, turn your knife in a slight clockwise direction and it will cut very close along the length of bones and release them from the fillet. 
then put the knife to the right hand side of the line again rotating your knife clockwise and it'll remove a very thin strip of fish that you lift up and remove and that's now a totally boneless skinless gurnard fillet